thought about us. Uh-uh. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I didn't even know I was live. I didn't know I was recording, but shout out to you guys. Welcome back for another general reading. It is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. This video is going to be for whoever it is for. Don't try to, don't try to force it. Uh, only take the part that resonates with your, with your own energy. Uh, only you know what's going on in your life, all right? <clears throat> so let's see. This video resonates with you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. I really would appreciate it, and I do thank you guys. So thank you so much. So this could be you. This could be somebody that you're dealing with. Let's see what type of energy they are in. What is their characteristics? Who are they? Who are they as a person? Hope this video finds you guys doing amazing. Like I said, y'all, it's hot. It's in the evening. And you know when it's threatening to rain and storm and humidity is high. So it's like a thick, smuggy heat. Man. I need to do another Scorpio video because I'm feeling Scorpio. I need to talk to my Scorpios. You could be a Scorpios. So let's see. This could be you. Or your external cancer Aries could be an earth sign so some of you guys are Aries some of you guys are dealing with Aries you got Aries and cancer and earth fire energy water energy number one number four number 26 eight Now, Aries is um, very attractive, very passionate, cardinal, I am. The dynamic energy of fire blends with the cardinal can-do quality and advocates taking action, take charge, take risk, take control. You know, I always feel like Aries sometimes, they, they, they like to run it. I'm just going to be honest with you because like I always say, I have an Aries sister plus I have Aries in my moon, so I get it. Sometimes we can be controlling. In, in certain aspects, we can. Oh boy, can't we though? But I don't feel like it's the same as a full-blown Aries. Now, full-blown Aries, man. But I have to say they're, they're, they're the most exciting fun people to hang around when you're trying to go kick it get you an Aries if you want if you want if you want to pipe up you better go get your Aries I'm just telling you Aries so this could be why you know a risk taker here so I am means that the motivation is concentrated on the self in this situation ask how does this benefit or affect me Whatever you do, do it with as much energy as you can muster. The energy of Aries can be really self-involved. While paying attention to your own best interest can be a good thing, it is easy to get caught up in that track and lose sight of the larger situation. Aries avoid selfishness. So for some of you guys, you could be an Aries or you could be dealing with the Aries and you can realize that y'all going through these traits. Y'all could be looking at this person like they think they all let and they act like you ain't in the room type of stuff. Look how big the head is. See? Could be dealing with the cancer here too. Or you somebody have multiple places, which we all do. You got water and fire. Cancer. I feel. Uh-oh. So you went from somebody here who is Self-centered kind of to somebody here who is giving. So it says the sensitive energy of water finds. So that means if you're Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, you're considered sensitive. So the sensitive energy of water finds strength and direction through the cardinal take charge quality. Oh, so I can see an Aries and a Cancer does have something, some compatibilities here. Take charge quality and remind you that emotional intelligence plays a huge role in shaping relationships in life. The key phrase, I feel, means that the motivation comes from your emotions. In this situation, ask what feels right. Take the emotional temperature of the situation before acting. Feelings are complicated things. We often confuse our actual emotions 
with the stories we tell ourselves about those emotions. Those stories can distract us from the actual feeling. Avoid emotional manipulation of yourself and others. Ooh, so some of y'all could be a cancer, some of y'all could be an Aries, some of y'all dealing with somebody here and they all about they self while you all about trying to share the love and they all about trying to take it holy love. And you got a little earth energy here. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Da -da -da -da. All right, so, but it, Earth is in the reverse, actually. So it's almost like somebody's all about, there's an imbalance because somebody may need to ground themselves while someone else may need to um, not focus on the material world and the, somebody may like to look good, style good, and all those irrelevant things. So someone could have a lot of vainness about themselves. It's almost like their water in their oil, y'all. Their water in their oil, their water in their fire. Yeah, yes, it's very, very fun. It's very, very exciting. Because for a fire sign, that water sign going to be all over you. It's usually that way. I mean, it's one way or the other. It's usually like that. Because you remember they said water, cancer, skip, scorpio. They're, they're sensitive. While you dealing with a whole fire sign, it's all into them. They feel like... This fire sign could really feel like you're their biggest motivation and that you that that you should be so lucky as to be in their presence here. So this is what you got. You got the energy of you also have Uranus. Let's check out Uranus real quick. Earth in reverse. Somebody's very, very. Uh, it says Uranus met. Oh, wait a minute. This has a lot of different languages. It says Uranus is associated with the primal Greek sky god of the same name. Uranus brings up some powerful human needs, such as the desire for freedom and individuality, as well as push towards a larger vision and humanitarian service. Big thoughts, big insights, and big changes are represented by Uranus. So something, it could have already been some big changes because you got earth in the reverse. It's like if somebody here is very, very materialist, they, they, you know, it, it could be, it could be, it could be two people coming together with two different um, mindsets. One person may be looking at somebody like you can, they can build something with you, but on a selfish level, while the other person may be looking at you like we can build something as a unit, but the whole, but the other person ain't even feeling the same way you feel it. <clears throat> I dropped something, y'all, you know. But that's what I'm getting here. Don't worry about it. That's what I feel. I feel like that's, that's what's going on here. So things are changing. You you could be in a situation here with somebody here where you, had, when you, you know, previously entered into some type of relationship because you thought that something good was going to come out of it. And the other person was really in it because, it's, it's like they were, they, they were all for building with you, but for selfish reasons. But with this earth in the reverse, either there's some drastic changes here because there is a need of change. Or something is about to happen or something has already changed. And this is the aftermath of it. But you do realize that when there is endings, there's always opportunities for new beginnings. So hopefully this is a new opportunity for someone. So let's see. Could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. What's going on? What messages for the collective? Ain't that something here? Because you know, you know, like the water sign. See, so you it, it's so obvious because the water sign like that that jazzy side, that spicy side, because water is. I just feel like every time I see water and fire, I feel like it's that good energy, that good girl, bad guy, or that naive guy, uh, street girl type. You know what I'm just saying? Headstrong female, alpha female type of energy. Somebody here who, I feel like the water signs, they, they, like, they like the risk. They like the challenge. And I feel like that fire sign is going to take them there. But for the fire signs, <clears throat> oof. 
Uh, see, there was confirmation. See, with that water sign, the water sign is going to boost that fire sign ego. Because, you know, the fire sign, they be all into that. And they need somebody who's going to build them up now. Can't nobody boost you up like no water sign, honey. So let's see what's going on here for the collectives. 10, 10. going on here for the collective the high priest is here two of wands two of pentacles the fool aries nine of wands leo sagittarius and aries the hermit virgo the magician in the reverse pisces and the devil Capricorn underneath the bottom six of pentacles in the reverse. I see we just talked about it. One sided relationships here. With that fire, especially if they're if they're not in the right energy, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody it is really ain't no right or wrong, but somebody was in low vibrational energy. You know how it is when somebody here who is it's just like one of those lessons. Because you know that this is a lesson here. So you know this probably was a very, very challenging relationship. I feel like it had it had its highs and its lows. But it could be to the point where it's time to make decisions about it. With this magician card in the reverse, <clears throat> next to the devil, it could represent that someone here was very, very manipulative to you. Someone was, you know what I'm saying, just playing on your emotions because they may have thought that you was gullible and easy, but you probably was just a real person, just just... You know, ain't that something, you know, it, it, it tells you that there's something really, really wrong when people feel like because you show kindness and love that you're weak and that something is wrong with you, right? So instead of uh, guarding you and really protecting a gem, uh, you know, most people take advantage of it. So it could also represent that the manipulation that someone used to have against you, I feel like that manipulation is wearing out things or maybe turning around or... And it could be that, and like I said, it could be things are about to turn around in this connection. With the high priest of the two of one, two of pentacles, I feel like someone here is really, it could be the water sign that's really trying to tap in and see what's best for them. It could be somebody here who has multiple situations going on. And they're juggling and trying to figure out which one should they, you know, reach out to. Because it seems like right now, maybe just a lot of games being played. Could be a Capricorn or Virgo or Aries or Pisces. Pisces. Check it out. Ain't no water in here. You got the nine of wands, the two of wands here. The hermit. You do got that high priestess, though. And the, and the magician is in the reverse. So, it's like, it's, a, it's, it's almost like it's... Um, mishandling, uh, manipulate. I'm just going to say manipulating, very manipulating energy. So let's see, someone could have been hiding some things and things may have come out because <laughs> you look, you can only flex on somebody for so long. And especially if you've been if you're doing wrong, it's going to eventually come out anyway. And, you know, sometimes people stay stuck because they're in love. And I can see that with a, a cancer. And of Aries, I can see that. I can just tell you which one the sensitive one, the one gonna catch feelings. You already know it. When you don't care, you don't get hurt. Usually you don't, but you usually hurt people. So sometimes you feel like it sucks when you care, but at the same time, caring and loving is a real, true, divine gift. So don't ever, ever let anyone dim your light because of their foolishness. Because if they knew any better, then they would have known that you were a gift to try to bring them out of that darkness energy. But mm, the Empress, so somebody could be a Libra, somebody could have children with somebody or somebody here. Um, it's on their high horse here. Somebody here could be looking at somebody like they got it going on. Somebody could have been hiding a baby mama. What's going on with this high priestess for the collective? What message is here for whoever? Secrets. Spiritual knowledge, spiritual secrets, uh, spiritualist, spiritual advisor, hiding things. Uh uh. Ooh. There it is. Somebody doing spell work. 
cedar or somebody could be hiding the fact that they're look and they go that king of cups is it the water sign doing work <laughs> i guess the water sign said i'm gonna show you i show you king of cups you got cancer here Somebody could be trying to do some type of love work here so that it could change somebody's heart towards them. Somebody's behind the scenes either manifest, but with that high priestess, oh yeah. Somebody behind the scenes working they ish. Why? Why, why are they doing this? What's going on here? What is the purpose of this? What is the purpose of this high priestess with the magician with this king of cups? Could be a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you do got cancer card there. Eight of wands. Somebody wants something to move. Somebody wants action. Somebody wants things to pick up. Somebody wants action. I just feel like somebody wants action. Look, they go to Aries. Ooh, King of Wands. So now you got the Cancer and you got the Aries here. Who, for some of y'all, you could be two guys together. Could be that type of relationship. Wow. Somebody could be be manifesting this person. Why is this two of wands here? Ugh. It could be a guy trying to... <laughs> Look, y'all, don't come for me now. It could be one. It could be a, a cancer, a male cancer involved with the male Aries. And the male cancer trying to put that work on that, that uh, Aries. Now, that's for somebody. All right, see, two of wands. You got the lovers in the reverse. So we know it's about a romantic relationship. Oof. All right, this two of wands. Decisions. And you know it's decisions because you got the lover's card. What's going on here? Could be a Gemini. Ace of Cups. Ooh, somebody could have. Look, we saw that Empress. It could be a baby on the way. Two of wands. The lovers in the reverse. It's some type of toxic situation somebody is involved in right now. What's up with this two of pentacles? Could be water and fire. What's up with the two of pentacles? Juggling financial situations out of control. Out of emotions is rocky, rocky situation. I feel like somebody's in a rocky situation right now. See, three of pentacles in the reverse. It could be pertaining to money situations. Someone could be... Hmm. It's a lot of different weird energy in here. What's up with this two of pentacles? Hey, hey. Toys, Virgo, and Capricorn. You did see Earth in the reverse. Two of pentacles and a three of pentacles. So it's some type of financial issue. See? Seven of swords. See? Somebody may be finding out about money. Somebody could have been, somebody could find out that the reason, only reason why somebody is with them is for money. Shoot, somebody just could have been in it for money. Because we read what with Aries and Cancer represent as well as that Earth in the reverse and Uranus. Page of Cups. For somebody, somebody may have started something new somewhere else with this Ace of Cups, Okay. I feel like somebody may have been, look, for somebody, somebody may have manifested somebody else's person, okay? Yeah, that ain't for everybody, but somebody did. Somebody's definitely doing something. Now, what's up with this fool? Aries, there go Aries. Why is, the, why is the fool here? It's like somebody running around here acting like they ain't got no sense because they ain't in their right mind because somebody could be behind manipulating them. And everybody looking at this person trying to figure out why are you doing this? This is not like you. Somebody is misbehaving because they're being manipulated behind the scenes. And I feel like it's an Aries. It could be a Cancer. Because you got the High Priestess, the Magician, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Somebody wants something to move. Somebody could be manifesting uh, communication. But I feel like travel, movements, different directions. Somebody is sending this to you. Like someone is sending somebody, then you got the King of Wands. I saw the King of Wands. I feel like somebody that started something, somebody slick. Watch the Two of Pentacles here. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Page of, Pen page of Cups. 
There it is again, that freaking seven of swords. See, somebody could have been lying about a pregnancy too, y'all. Somebody could have been lying about a pregnancy with this two of pentacles, seven of swords, page of cups, seven of swords. Because you got the ace of cups and we saw that empress here. See, something got shut down and now, now they go to feminine. Queen of Wands, and they go to Aries again. See, Ace of Wands. Three of Cups in the reverse. Karmic third party energy. The Fool. Aries energy. Strength could be a Leo. So someone's trying to reframe themselves or something. Four of Wands. Five of Swords. That go that freaking empress again. Somebody got a baby mama around here. And I feel like somebody, baby mama, keep on trying to interrupt this relationship. And I feel like it could be the baby mama doing some work, maybe. Somebody got a child. And I feel like somebody's trying to stay away from this person because I feel like they feel like this person's causing a lot of harm to their own. It's almost like somebody's trying. I feel like somebody been kicking it with this empress, but I feel like they not trying to rift the, rift the raft at, at other situations because they know that this empress is going to cause conflicts elsewhere. So they're trying to stay away from this empress, but I feel like they really want to be with this empress or they really low key being with this empress. It's like almost like they're trying to hide her. Somebody, somebody is doing something behind the scenes, though. Let's see. Why is this devil here? Clarify the devil. Capricorn. Addictions, codependency, five of cups. See? They go to Empress again. It could be the empress or it could be somebody else. Somebody could, somebody regretting something. Maybe somebody, for somebody, maybe someone feel like they lost it all because of some type of addiction. It's almost like somebody regrets losing their family. And then somebody could feel like they done lost out because of outside influences too. What's up with this devil? Death. See, some came to an end. Could be a Scorpio. Two of Swords. And somebody is refusing to accept it, but I feel like it's a done deal. See, I feel like all, all of somebody's secrets may have came out or somebody is behind the scenes doing something they shouldn't be doing. Because you got the high priestess with the magician and the king of cups. Somebody in their feelings. I feel like they're the ones that's wrong, but at the same time, they're playing dirty. It's this somebody is somebody's playing dirty, is what I feel. What's up with this magician in the reverse? Ten of Wands. Something is difficult. See there, somebody can't handle it. The tower and the six of pentacles, something came down, something came to an end. So if they was with somebody for the benefits, all oh, something came down. Because you remember you saw the six of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, somebody may have, somebody's good thing may have gotten up, uh, ended. Because you got the three of pentacles right here with the five of pentacles. Now you got the two of pentacles in the upright, three of pentacles in the reverse, seven of swords, page of cups, seven of swords, the ace of wands in the reverse. So somebody could have stole money from you. Someone could have been stealing money. Somebody, you could have found out somebody just around you for money. Or somebody may have had a child and they're going to have to end up paying money. Okay. I see that too. Something that they may have should have left alone from their past, but they kept on messing with it or something. What's up with this nine of wands? Wounded. Somebody been through a lot. Eight of pentacles. Somebody may have gotten hurt at work 
and maybe get about to get paid. Oh, see, somebody got to pay now to go to justice in the reverse. Now somebody going to have to go to court and start paying for something. Somebody's realizing that their luck is turned for the worse because of the lifestyle they've been living. Somebody could have been treating the baby mama wrong and dogging her and, and withholding and acting like they ball and everything. And they, the baby mama probably wanted to uh, really try to work it out with this person, was hoping that this person cared, but they didn't. But somehow the baby mama may have gotten her strength and may have gotten the ball in her corner and somebody want this baby mama not to put them on child support, but it's a done deal. Somebody may need some. Somebody may end up going to jail too because of some stuff they've been doing. Somebody hiding something. See, because like I said, somebody could be manipulating the books, manipulating, you know, like working, getting paid under the table, trying to act like they ain't got no money or something. But it's gonna come out anyway, and somebody, somebody's luck is gonna go from bad to worse because of it. And I feel like somebody's gonna get justice in the end. Could be an empress. So why is the hermit here? Somebody could have been hiding money, hiding bank accounts. Somebody could have been trying to hide a whole nother situation too. It's almost like, you know, they say when it rains, it pours. It's almost like somebody's luck has run out. See? Three of cups in the reverse. Somebody lucked and ran out in the lifestyle they was living. And somebody may have children, page of pentacles, almost like <laughs> everything that they used to could, could hide and stuff like that. All this stuff is coming to an end. Everything is being revealed. And now everybody's dirt is all out. And now somebody has to look at what type of relationship they really had. Knight of Cups. This person out here chasing after people. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups energy. Somebody's finding out a lot of things about their person. Could be a water. See, somebody out here acting like they balling and like that they ain't even got no person. Somebody found out all they dirt now. Page of Swords. And now that they done found it, somebody may have found out that somebody actually do have money while they've been trying to act like they ain't got it. See, you see how they doing? Somebody, somebody gonna find your money out your stash. They're gonna find out how you stay able. And then what's gonna happen is somebody gonna make sure. They got you. Somebody got you right where they want you with that eight of swords. Some of y'all, y'all may end up going to jail for back child support or trying to hide money or what you was trying to hide. Oh, this is for somebody. Whoever was trying to hide money, you're going to find it. And guess what's going to happen? Y'all going to be just fine. See? See what happened? Didn't I tell you the will of fortune is here in the reverse for this person? See? See, somebody was trying to hide money, see, because they was doing you wrong and you found out that this was a karmic relationship here. And it's almost like somebody owed you money and they're trying to act like they don't have it. But Spirit is saying you're going to get it anyway because everything is coming out in the open. And whatever this person did to you in the past, they about to get all their karma. I feel like it's a transfer of wealth. If somebody was running around here cocking, they was hiding money and acting like they couldn't work and all acting like they ain't had no money to uh, take care of their responsibilities. Please believe you're going to find out everything about this person. That's going to help you get the money that you deserve. I'm telling you for somebody, you're going to find out where they had their money at and you're about to be paid, you and your children. All right. So this is a collective reading. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe.